Hi guys, it's Eni, aka The Knock Trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader, back again with another video. And today is the 22nd of April 2019. And in this video, I'm going to go through my watch list of stocks that I'm looking to potentially trade through this week and recap on some of the other ones that I previously um, said that might be worth trading over the last uh, couple of technical analysis reports. Let's get straight into the video. <music> Before we get going, you know I'm going to ask you to do hit that like and subscribe button and hit the alert button to get alerts on all my videos. I also have Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at The Not Trade on all social media platforms and if you click in the description section of this video, you'll see a link to my mailing list. If you join my mailing list, you'll get priority free access to my course that I'm creating for my website. You also get an email whenever a new videos come out because sometimes the algorithm of YouTube doesn't mean that everyone gets the alerts even if they click the alert button. And you also just get updated on all my stock watch list and what stocks I've traded and what positions I took on them and the P&L and all these uh, stocks that I that I traded. Let's get straight into the video. So I've got today's a bank holiday in the UK. I know it's not in the USA, so I'm going to cover two stocks in the UK and then the rest will be US stocks. Um, first one's going to be Tesco. Now I'm covering Tesco because it was called out to me by one of my subscribers called Niall. Cheers Niall for, um, for calling this one out and I thought I'd uh, cover it because you mentioned it. Um, if, anyone, if anyone else has any stocks that they think are potential good swing trades, um, leave, leave a comment in the section. Leave a comment in the comment section below and then I might cover them in one of my videos. Um, I'll just cover the ones that I think are good though. I won't cover the ones where there might not be any potential for a trade. But yeah, so first one is Tesco. Tesco is a UK um, grocery a supermarket chain. So I already plotted some lines on here previously. So on the daily chart, you can see here that Tesco um, has been following like a channel pattern, a sending channel pattern, ebbing and flowing up and down. It broke out of it once here before, uh, but it was a false breakout and it, 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 it remained, it came back into the channel pattern and remained true to it again. Now it's hit the um, resistance once again. Now at this point, it could break out again or it could come back down. We don't really know. So, um, but it's a great position to to be in because now we can kind of just wait it out and see. It's over over uh, overbought um, on the on the daily RSI, and the MACD is quite overextended as well. So potentially it could come down. But as as in previous positions, it's only one time did it hit the resistance and then came back down straight away. Last the one of the previous times it kind of fluctuated above the resistance line, so it could take be a couple of weeks of just doing this before it decides it wants to fall again. Um, as you can see here, from here to here was like two months, so it could be two months of just lingering at the resistance before coming down. So one way to play this would be to probably just you might want to just short it from that the resistance line to like um, wherever it goes down to before it starts retracing back because you don't want to be holding this for like a month just so it can fluctuate around the same price because it's a waste of time <laughs> um yeah there's definitely one to watch um i do think it potentially could short but it might break out as well if you look on the weekly chart this gray line here was a previous resistance a bit dating back to 2002 2004 2004 and it made it was still relevant here um on the weekly chart as well once again the RSI is in uh, overbought territory and the MACD uh, looks, well it's inconclusive what the MACD is really telling us. I need it to change direction before I can really um, say something about it. On the weekly chart, the 180 day simple moving average is acting as a support, which means that price is generally on its way up. Um, on the daily chart, the, MAC, the 180 day simple moving average is not really telling us much here, here either way. But um, yeah, I'd say that I would say that it's, it's a good position to short. Um, but you would want to um, you'd want to create a tight stop loss, a very tight stop loss, five pips there, and then maybe for potential of eighteen pips, twenty pips. That's like a one to three ratio, which is pretty good. Um, but I like I like to see some confirmation. I like to see it break out of the. Um, um, one the 15 day exponential moving average on the downside before I'd enter but yeah that's a good stop to watch and it's a good swing trade so a good shout out to now for spotting that one the next one is SLA 
SLA is doing exactly how I what I expected it to do. Oh shoot, what have I done? Yeah, so SLA doing exactly what I expected it to do. Um, it's just broke out of the top side of the uh, the ascending wedge. It looks like it's going to carry on. I still I'm still waiting for it to hit three uh, thirty. Um, not thirty, yeah, three pounds. Um, and I still think it can do it, and it's been doing really well so far. So I'm just going to keep holding this position and see what happens. Um, um, I think it will retrace a little bit because it's, it's been going, it's been having quite a few green days, and it's always healthy to have a little bit of a retracement before it carries on up some more. But I don't see it stopping anytime soon. Um, target still th uh, three uh, three pounds, and I still think it can make make it there. Um, and I've been holding it since two forty five, so. Um, doing pretty well on that um, let you know when I exit profit on that but right now it's doing well so no need for me to really make any any decisions on that until I see see otherwise a reason to do otherwise one thing to note is that the MACD and RSI is overextended overextended overbought but I still think what that means is just a little bit of a retracement before it carries on going up <coughs> now onto my US stocks my USA stocks okay so last uh, my last technical analysis uh, report, I spoke about lots of diff different stocks, but I didn't actually take a position in any of them. I took a position in AMD because I saw this after I'd already recorded my video and I thought, let me just take the position because it looked pretty good. But now I've been almost, I wasn't sure about if I'd made the right decision. And I'll tell you why. On the weekly chart, so AMD bottomed out around here. bottom that around here double bottom and then start making high highs and on the weekly chart it looks like maybe it's starting to flatten out on the daily chart I don't know what this line is Let's do that. on the daily chart obviously it's been I've been flowing upwards, but here it's kind of found a bend, and I feel like it might break to the downside. I don't know why I have nothing to base this on, but um, and then also the, the look at this the MACD was is going up, and now it's starting to go into negative territory, but it might still climb up some more. Um, I was just a bit weary of that on the four hour chart. So, this is where my, my cause for concern is on the four hour chart. It looked like it was a ascending channel pattern, so that was good. And but here it started ebbing and flowing sideways. So within the ascending channel pattern, there was a, I feel like there's a uh, horizontal channel pattern. I posted about this on my uh, Twitter page. If you see, I'm gonna post it up here now. On my Twitter, I kind of said this where there's an ascending channel pattern, and within that ascending pan channel pattern, there's a horizontal channel pattern, which has made the price break out of the support of the ascending channel pattern. But um, I was talking to. Um, I was, I was talking to one of my friends and he was telling me how at this uh, level a lot of the times the um, because of because f Thursday uh, was the day before bank holiday a lot of people were just um, holding their positions or maybe selling off so there wasn't much volume there wasn't enough volume for it to really climb upward so this may be a byproduct of the long weekend that we're having so that's just a theory I'm not sure whether that's true or not we'll see but um, I've, I've held on to the position. I'm in it now. But I've went long on AMD, and I set my stop loss just below this, um, just below this uh, support line of the horizontal channel pattern. I'm hoping that today it will uh, climb up, break out, hit this as a support, make this old resistance a new support, and then start climbing up. And then I'll take profits. I don't know why I take profits. Maybe I don't want to be greedy because I don't think it's going to go all the way up to this line. Maybe at uh, thirty dollars. So, so that it's like the old old um old resistance so i'll take profits there and i'll see how it goes um yeah so i'm in that position right now <laughs> another one is lululemon so this one very interesting stock uh clothing brands american clothing brands sports apparel clothing brands so um here on the MACD, on the daily MACD, 
it looks like it could potentially break out to the upside for a big gain. And the MACD's, MACD's 10 loss otherwise. MACD's kind of flat, but you never know. It could pop up, up some more. I'm looking based just on the price, actually. It looks like it's been trying to break this line for quite a while. And it really just didn't have the moment, momentum it needed. But maybe this... And we might have missed it. We might have missed the, our entry point already. Maybe it was the time to enter was before uh, Thursday. And, and it might just gap up. But... um. You don't want to just guess with things like these, because look, this could have this this could have happened here as well. You don't want to assume something. You could you could kind of assume that, and then it came to the downside. So um, you just have to be cautious. So um, based off of this information, I'm just being very cautious as to how I play it. But I think that it could either gap up or it could um, come back down. But based on what's previously happened here. It's, it's hit this line several times and then when it didn't have enough momentum it just started falling so here I am just waiting on whether it's going to break out of it or come back down I need some sort of confirmation before I take action so that I don't get a repeat of that it might go up it might come down so um, right now I'm just watching uh, uh, Lululemon and to see what it's going to do uh, uh, at market open and then it'll kind of dictate what, what, what I'll do with this trade what I'd most likely want to do is that if it breaks out, I'd wait for it to break out, consolidate on this line, and then maybe enter and then see it see, go along on it. If it, if it starts selling off, I'd I need I'd need for it to sell off. Uh, if it starts selling off, it might just be coming back to the line to test it once more. So if it sells off, I might just short it, set my stop loss just above this line, and then just wait for it to get to here, because there's no. Um, confirmation that it might break all the way down it might just hit this line and then come back up again so it just depends on what happens uh, upon market open today and uh, I'm going to go through a couple of stocks and then there's MU Micron Technology this one on the daily chart there's obvious uh, support line here daily chart is obviously support line there but then it's the only thing I'm a bit nervous of is that it's it's coming close to the 180 day simple moving average which has been acting as a sub um, which is above the price action and can act as a, sub a resistance what I want to see it do is either hit it and touch it or break through it but um, that's sorry that's on the two day chart on the one day chart it's already come underneath it so there's no issue with that so on the one day chart the 180 day simple moving average just started acting as a support which is good that means price needs to be rallying upwards on the um, 4 hour chart you can see previously it was an ascending channel pattern it broke out of that to the downside and created a new one so here I'm, uh, I, I want to see it climb up to this point here and it, I believe that it could do that it's, it's going to take a little bit of a uh, um, jaggedy move to, to this line but I do believe it can go up there previously it took 6 days to go 614 pips which is good here it took 13 days this one you never know it could pop up but it could take maybe a week but that's 300 pips which is pretty good and because of the uh, on the daily chart I said actually on the, one, on the 4 hour chart the 180 days moving average is acting as a support now which is really good even though it's kind of curving sideways but the daily, because the 180 is simple moving average has come underneath the price, this is something really that's really positive for me because I, I believe that now price can start rallying up some more. <laughs> now that it's got 180 simple moving average as a support. So, MU, um, that's one I'm watching as well uh, for the um, so that it can climb up to uh, to the resistance line here that I've created. Now Loma, last week I, f I, I, uh, I said that it was gonna it was gonna hit the support and climb up some more. I was really wrong. I was wrong. Good thing I didn't take that position. But that's the good thing about these things. You're not gonna be right about every technical analysis that you do on a stock. But if you, I, I, I said it in the last video that even though I think it's gonna climb up, I think there's better positions to be taken. So I'm not gonna trade this. But my thought was gonna go up. So even if you think something's gonna happen, if you analyze five six seven ten twenty other stocks and you see one that has a higher probability elsewhere then it's always good just to leave the one leave the one that you're not kind of sure about because there's going to be always going to be another trade that 
you're more confident in. That's why I, I create a confident percentile, percentile in my stock watch list. Um, so yeah, my stock, my stock watch list breakdown sheet. The reason why I have this confidence percent probability is for myself. This isn't. This is how confident I am in in my analysis of that trade. And if it's not above about 80 to 85, then I probably won't even enter the trade. I've been wrong before, as you can see. I was wrong with clocks. I was wrong with next. But um, if you're, if I'm sitting in the 80, 90, in the 90 region, that means I'm pretty confident about about how how I feel like I'm right about this trade. And then look, SLA, I was 90% confident, and look at it, it's still climbing to this day. So it's just something that you need to within yourself kind of identify how confident you are with a, a setup, and then dictate whether it's worth even taking that trade. Because I'm as I'm as I've told you before, I'm reading this book. Uh, that's all about. Uh, um, the statistics, uh, statistics within a trading, and um, it's a really interesting book. I'm gonna review it, and this, um, and this is basically talking about how some of the best traders take fewer trades. So that's that's something I'm trying to employ in my own strategy, where I can I'll I'll do an analysis on lots of different stocks, but I, that won't necessarily mean I'll take every single position, and I'll be wrong on some of them. But it's all right to be wrong because if I identify 10, 20 stocks. And I say, and I give a technical analysis on all of them, and there may be one or two I decide to enter. I want to make sure those one or two are the creme de la creme, so that some of the other ones could be wrong in hindsight, but it didn't matter because I didn't enter them. So um, yeah, I just went a little rant there, but I think that's very important to to know. And um, that's why I'm covering some of the ones that I got wrong as well after the fact. So so Loma, I got wrong in terms of the technical analysis and uh, AA. To be honest, this one um, I should have I should have clocked this. That's I was going to break out to the downside. I initially said that it might be worth taking a long position, which was true because of where it was sitting at. It was um, worth the risk because it was a sh you would have lost much money if you had uh, went long on this. But what should have been the tell sign was the one hundred eighty day simple moving average on the four hour chart. The minute it climbed, it hit it as a support, and I should have that should have been a red flag to say okay, this might break out to the downside because you wanted to just break through it. Um, and on the daily chart, there's some signs that I wasn't really trying to um, uh, give too much uh, attention to, but in hindsight, these were red flags that would have told me that it was it might break out to the support side. The 188 simple moving average on the daily chart is just curving downwards, which means price could carry on selling off, and that's exactly what it did. Um, so yeah, in hand, so this one shorted. Good thing I didn't enter it, but if I'd enter it, it would I wouldn't have lost much because. The, the risk to reward was really tight so um yeah and then f finally last but, last but not least the one that i've been following for quite some time and i'm just waiting for the right entry point is jet blue the u.s uh airline company once again nothing's really changed since last time it's still just flirting with the resistance line here yeah? still flirting with this resistance line on the on the descending channel pattern um, the 188 simple moving average looks like it's starting to flatline, but um, it might just be my confirmation bias making me think it's doing something that it's not. But I said no action will be taken until this breaks out of this resistance line. Yeah, so uh, JetBlue, uh, just waiting. As I said, I've, last time I set an alert, as you can see here, this little dot here is an alert line on the resist resistance line. So no action will be taken until it breaks out to the upside, comes up, consolidates on this line, and starts climbing. Similar to, to SLA, like the same, the similar pattern to SLA, I want to see this happen here. And it will break above the 180 day simple moving average, and then 180 day simple moving average will start curving upwards. That's what I'm waiting to see. So, yeah, that's just my stock uh, breakdown of some US and UK stocks. Uh, have a, I hope you guys had a happy Easter, and uh, Noctrader signing out.